I will warn you, this is just me talking. Bit of a directionless commentary, not the type of guide video that I usually make. I'm working on those, I'll have some more meaningful and hopefully helpful tip style videos when I can, but for now, I wanted to take a moment to rejoice in this water park map that came out yesterday, Splash, in the Awakening DLC 1 map pack, because there's quite a bit of backstory to this for me, which I will explain. That's what I want to talk about. This isn't just random and out of the blue, and I'm not planning on giving a video tour of any other DLC map. That would be kind of dumb, I know. You don't need me to walk through the map for you now that it's already out. Although it is cool that for the first time ever I can make a DLC related video and have it not be extremely late and boring and outdated because I've been on PlayStation for a long time and this is the first year things have flipped around. It does kind of suck that there remains a divide there but nothing we can do. Anyway, why do I care about this map? Aside from the fact that it is a pretty cool and colorful map with water sides everywhere giving off a very playful vibe, why does it matter to me? Well, this all dates back to a video I made on May 17th of 2013. It's a terrible video, and I don't suggest watching it. Same thing goes for all my old videos. They're all terrible things that I consider making private every day. Now, of course, by me saying that, you've opened up a new tab and are going to go look them up. No? You're done now. You're done. Okay, good. I forced myself to rewatch it or skip through it in order to make this video, and it was awful. It was the physical video embodiment of cringe. Just annoying. I was sick at the time. Bad mic. Boring puberty voice. God. Then again, I'm sure I'll think that exact same thing about this video in two years from now. I kind of sound sick. Why do I sound sick? I'm not sick. My nose is kind of stuffed up. Stop. Anyway, now, this old video commentary... Wait, commentary? Yep, I couldn't make that up. That was the title for nearly three years. I only now just fixed it making this video. Okay, this video commentary is now relevant to me because in it, almost three years ago, I described how awesome it would be to have a water park map in the game, and I started this because of a joke I was making about these brochures I found on the map plaza here and how maybe this was Treyarch's way of dropping a DLC hint. Although I was making a joke out of it, I wasn't actually trying to predict anything. I was saying like, oh, Oasis is already the name of a DLC map and they already made a desert-themed map called Mirage. Well, maybe Maybe the water park map is next, and aside from the cringe of this video, I really did like parts of it. I did some mock detective work with theater mode, I looked at the whole brochure and googled the area code of the fake number found at the bottom. That led to something called Sahara Sam's Oasis Indoor Water Park, and that was really funny because the two other brochures depicted the Sahara Desert, and, well, maybe the Sahara Desert, I don't know, I'm just making that up, and the other literally said Oasis, so there are connections everywhere, and then that the grand opening of a thing on their website was about the time that more DLC would be released, and yeah, I like I liked that kind of funny part of the video, even though it was mostly a joke, but I really wanted it to happen. I even included in that original video how I wanted to see a bright and colorful version of a fully functioning water park with water flowing, not a dried up and abandoned, cracked water park with algae everywhere. Another funny part is that I talked about how I imagined being like a sniper on one of those taller water slide towers, then sliding down a massive thing to get out of there, and I went on to say, but I know that they couldn't add like a sliding or swimming ability as a DLC addition. I understand that would be a whole new game mechanic. Now fast forward three years and what do we have? Exactly what I wished for all those years ago. A fully functioning, bright, colorful water park. We now have a swimming game mechanic and it is not run down and abandoned. You can kind of enter the slides and swim around. Not quite slide, but you know, just as I hoped and dreamed. I will admit, I wish they did involve all these slides and the verticality a bit more. I'm not a big fan of verticality generally. That was a big buzzword for a few years. Verticality this and verticality that. Until people realized that they didn't actually like verticality that much. And I like Treyarch's design goals overall to avoid that verticality. They've made some pretty good maps so far, but I feel like they adhere to the three lane formula style a bit too much. Not every map has to be the most balanced three lane layout for a competitive format. COD isn't a hyper competitive game in my mind. Just pick out the most competitive ones for the competitive play. That makes sense, but I would love to see it if we had some maps that didn't follow the same format. That's why none of the maps really stand out to me in this game. They're all okay. There isn't like a map that I think is my favorite and I always vote for. So I know that it wouldn't be the most balanced thing, but I would still love to see like one elevated position to be able to get up there and shoot down on people and take a one-way slide route down to B or whatever. Anyway, it's still a well-designed map and it has a lot of what I had in mind when I was originally imagining a water park map. I think we all know what happened here. Treyarch watches my videos and I was single-handedly responsible for inspiring the swimming mechanic in Black Ops 3 as well as the map Splash. That was all me. I will take credit.
Obvious sarcasm is obvious, I hope. But we've fast-forwarded a bit too far. Allow me to wind back the clock one more time, but this time to only half a year ago at the end of the Black Ops 3 beta when I made a beta review video giving all my thoughts on the game so far, and at one point, I briefly brought up the water slide topic. In my mind, that was an unexplained homage to that old Black Ops 2 video, and in fact, I'll quote that part of the beta review video, which is about 13 and a half minutes in. Apparently, about a third of the maps involve water, and I'm looking forward to it. DLC 1, Atlantis, please. Bondi, make it happen. I am a single consumer, and therefore I can make demands. Uh, DLC 2, water park map. You can go down the water slides and swim around in the wave pool. And I don't want some broken down, overgrown, moldy, grimy water park, all right? We're talking a fully functional water park, okay? Don't mess this up, Bondi. I know what you got planned over there. I'm looking forward to the water park. Yep, that video was made in August when nobody knew anything about the DLC, and it is pretty Pretty funny now in hindsight. I restated some of the things about wanting a working and colorful water park and we got exactly that in the first DLC. Unfortunately, I said that it would be in DLC 2. Would have been funnier if I said DLC 1, but again, I think we know what happened there. Vonderhaar watches my videos and he was like, oh god, this kid knows too much, so he moved the water park map from DLC 2 to DLC 1 to make sure I was wrong. I was totally right originally though, just to be clear. Vondi moved it up, not my fault. Now, in all seriousness, after we knew that Black Ops 3 had a very advanced swimming mechanic, I won't pretend like it is a big leap to predict a water park map at some point. I'm sure anyone who put some actual critical thinking into it may have seen it coming, but I thought that the combination of these two predictions in my past finally coming true warranted a bit of celebration. I also really liked the map, so that's a thing. Well, that's all. I felt that I owed it to my past self to make this video in honor of that wish that I made all those years ago, finally being realized exactly how I described. I ended that really old video with, and I quote, If we do ever get a water park map, that would be hilarious. I never imagined that it would be three years later in the sequel to Black Ops 2 that we finally get it. So, I thought that video and this map being a thing was a pretty funny coincidence. Or could it be more? We'll never know. Oh, by the way, Another thing at the end of that video, I pointed out a monitor across the room that said coming soon, Selva Casinos. Selva in Spanish roughly meaning jungle. They remade Hijack from Black Ops 2 in this DLC, so maybe they'll remake a map from Black Ops 1 next. Fair logic. And remember, when Treyarch wanted to leak info about the Black Ops 3 campaign through Snapchat teasers, what did they do? They hid it in the map Plaza. There's a lot more to this map than meets the eye, so when Black Ops 1's jungle map is remade into an indoor casino, you can expect another video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.